So what we have here is an 18 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Murray 46 inch cut lawnmower. Uh, it's been sitting for three years, we just got it. It's got one flat tire and uh, let's see if it works. Nothing. Um, also, hitting the safeties, the seat safety, clutch, it's in neutral, and the deck's off. First, we need to put a battery in it. So, uh, turns out it doesn't even have a battery in it. Yeah, just uh, make sure, <coughs> if you have a red wire and a black wire, make sure the red goes to your plus sign, positive, and your black goes to the negative. Alright, so we just put a new battery in it. So, we're going to try everything again. We're going to hit our seat safety, our clutch brake safety, our deck's off. Let's see if it turns over. Nope. Um, generally, generally, before I do anything that's been sitting for a while, I like to pull the spark plugs out and just shoot a little bit of penetrating oil inside the cylinders just so that your rings have a chance of breaking loose from the piston head. Uh, so we'll start with that, we'll tear it apart, we'll pull the plug, see what they look like, and uh, we'll go from there. So we've got definitely some water, and uh, other than that it looks, uh, looks pretty good. We're going to check the other cylinder. And uh, same thing, looks like we have some moisture, but uh, other than that, no reason it shouldn't be, f shouldn't be sparking. But the reason it's not cranking, I'm assuming, is because there's water in the pistons, and water doesn't compress. Air does, so we'll uh, turn it right now and see if we can blow a bunch of water out. If the spark plug's out, we're going to go ahead and check for spark. You only need three things for one of these small engines to work. You need fuel, ignition, and compression. So we're going to check, uh, check igni ignition. So we're just going to check spark on, on both spark plugs. All right, so we have spark. Going to put the spark plugs back in because I believe we have compression because we were hydrolocked. Um, and hopefully we have fuel. Uh, we might have to do a quick carb clean, uh, but hopefully not. Hopefully we can mow the lawn tonight before the sun goes down. All right, so put the spark plug back in. Both of them. Uh, we have spark, let's see what it does. So we either don't have enough compression or we don't have uh, proper fuel. So uh, it's getting a little dark, so uh, we'll, pick up, uh, we'll pick up on this tomorrow. You know, if it wasn't 95 degrees outside, it wouldn't be that hot. Hey, it's uh, day two. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, check the oil now. It's been sitting for we just got it after three years of not running, so who knows when the last time it was changed. There might be some water in it too, so we're going to go ahead and check that next. Yeah, so that's not, that's not good. We'll let that drain for as long as it takes. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and damn right, it's better than y'all's. Damn right, it's better than y'all's. I can teach you, but, but I, I have, have to charge. You. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> so straight SAE 30 in this mower and uh, we'll fill it up until it reads uh, it reads good on the, our dipstick. So we just finished changing the oil and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to start it again. Uh, we're gonna use a little bit of starter fluid it's just ether uh, 
and I'm just going to shoot it right into the carburetor to see if it even starts up. So basically a quick test for compression. And uh, if it starts under this and then cuts off, we have a fuel management problem. So uh, we're going to do a quick carb cleaning on this. We don't, we're not going to do the build yet because we don't have the kit. Uh, so we're going to break the carb down and uh, see what we can find, clean it out a little bit. Hopefully we can mow the lawn tonight. So we just took the top off with our float and our whole bowl is filled with water. Uh, so that's why it's not running. Uh, we're going to drain it, fill it up with fuel, and hopefully mower will fire up. Putting the carb together. Putting the carb together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just finished putting the car back together after we did after we did a quick clean. Uh, we're gonna try it again. <clears throat> See what happens. Got all my safeties. Okay, so it started up, but we had a lot of smoking going on from the belt. All the uh, bearings for the blades were seized up, uh, so we sp we're going to spray all those with some PB Blaster, see if we can loosen them up without replacing them, hopefully for now. And also there's a bent blade, the middle is, blade is bent on both sides, so we're going to show you how to bend that back real quick. It's not going to be perfect, but it's grass, so it'll work. Yep. And then uh, make sure you use a bend, correct? Yep. That's how we were, so. Yeah, we're spinning real, real nice right now. They were completely seized. So we got the lawnmower running, as you can see. Um, it's running like a champ, although we are having issues with the carburetor uh, linkage, mm -hmm. and it's gummed up. Yeah, the carburetor pretty much needed a complete total rebuild. I mean, it's not going to run right until you take all the gaskets out, clean the jets, and just get everything pretty much new in it. But it's okay. We promised you get it running, and Tom did mow some of this grass before the light went down too much, so it's okay. So we are DIY. Dort! Peace.